SpaceX has faced repeated setbacks with Starship's heat shield, one of the most technically demanding parts of the vehicle. The ship's surface must endure re-entry temperatures that can exceed 1,400 degrees Celsius, and its thousands of hexagonal tiles have proven difficult to perfect. During test flights, tiles have cracked, loosened, or fallen off entirely, exposing vulnerable areas of the steel structure. Engineers have tried different bonding methods, materials, and mounting systems, but until now, the shield has remained one of the main barriers to achieving true reusability. With Flight 11 approaching, SpaceX has begun preparing a major update to how these metallic tiles handle stress and heat during re-entry. While details remain limited, early reports suggest this is not a minor repair job, but a breakthrough aimed at eliminating the recurring weaknesses seen in past missions. It signals that the company may finally have a path toward a shield that can survive multiple re-entries without requiring extensive post-flight fixes. And if you want to stay informed about this and other critical developments in the space industry, be sure to subscribe. Every day brings new updates on rockets, spacecraft, and missions that are shaping the future and keeping track of them as they happen is the best way to stay ahead. Starship's 10th flight was a milestone for SpaceX. For the first time, the massive vehicle carried out a nearly complete demonstration of its design, from liftoff to controlled re-entry, and a successful landing sequence. It was the closest Starship had come to proving itself as a fully reusable launch system, something no other rocket of its size has achieved. Yet even in the middle of that progress, the test exposed one of the ship's most persistent weaknesses, the heat shield. The shield, made up of over 18,000 hexagonal tiles, is meant to protect the stainless steel body of Starship as it slams back into the atmosphere at hypersonic speeds. During Flight 10, the shield lit up bright orange and white, a dramatic sight that captured attention around the world. But after the ship was recovered, clear signs of stress were visible. Discolored patches, streaks, and damaged sections revealed that the protective system still isn't performing the way SpaceX needs it to. For a rocket designed to fly dozens or even hundreds of times, that is a major obstacle. Musk himself has repeatedly described the heat shield as one of the two hardest problems standing between SpaceX and true reusability. The challenge isn't only about handling extreme heat. It's about making a shield that can survive multiple re-entries without needing to be rebuilt after every mission. SpaceX has already tested different types of tiles, including metallic and ceramic versions, to see which materials can handle the brutal conditions of re-entry while still being practical to produce and replace. Each experiment has provided more data, but none have fully solved the problem. What engineers saw on Ship 37 after Flight 10 added more detail to the picture. Some of the metallic tiles had oxidized, turning from their original color to a burned, patchy surface. SpaceX later explained that propellant leakage contributed to the problem, accelerating the oxidation and spreading the damage across nearby tiles. This confirmed one of the risks of using metallic materials in such extreme environments. Even small leaks or gaps can trigger widespread issues. At the same time, SpaceX discovered that tiny spaces between tiles, almost invisible without close inspection, allowed superheated air over 1,500 degrees Celsius to slip through and damage the layers beneath. These issues underline the complexity of Starship's design, fitting thousands of tiles perfectly onto a curved, cylindrical structure with flaps, seams, and nose cone transitions is one of the hardest engineering tasks SpaceX has faced. Even a fraction of a millimeter's gap is enough to compromise the shield during re-entry. Engineers have tried bonding methods, adhesives, and even design tricks borrowed from the Dragon capsule, but so far, no approach has fully eliminated the problem. That is why the next flight, Flight 11, is being prepared with particular focus on addressing the heat shield once again. With Flight 11 approaching, SpaceX is preparing a major update to Starship's heat shield that directly addresses the persistent problems observed in earlier missions. The metallic tiles, which were tested alongside ceramics on Flight 10, have proven more vulnerable to oxidation than initially hoped. While metallic tiles offer advantages, they are stronger, easier to manufacture, 
and potentially reusable. The Flight 10 results showed that even minor exposure to leaked propellant or gaps between tiles can trigger discoloration and localized damage. That left engineers with a clear problem, how to maintain the benefits of metallic tiles while preventing them from deteriorating under extreme re-entry conditions. The solution SpaceX is implementing for Flight 11 involves a specialized material that acts as a buffer between the tiles and the ship's steel body. This material, a kind of high-performance wrapping layer, is designed to be placed around each tile before installation. Its purpose is twofold. First, it fills the microscopic gaps between individual tiles, sealing off pathways for superheated air that reaches temperatures above 1,500 degrees Celsius during re-entry. Second, it covers the space between the tiles and the underlying layers of the vehicle, preventing oxidation from spreading beneath the surface. This means that even if a small leak occurs or a tile shifts slightly during flight, the underlying steel remains protected and discoloration or damage is minimized. Installation of the wrapping layer is integrated with an automated pressing system. Each tile wrapped in the material is placed precisely on the ship's surface, and machines press it firmly into place. This ensures uniform contact across the entire shield and compresses the wrapping material into every gap. Unlike adhesives, which can be messy, inconsistent, or degrade over time under extreme heat, the compressive properties of this wrapping material provide a consistent, durable seal. Early tests on the nose cone of Ship 37, the first section where the method was trialed, showed promising results. Photographs of the recovered area revealed no white streaks or discoloration, strongly suggesting that the material successfully blocked air and oxidation from penetrating the surface. Beyond the nose cone, SpaceX plans to extend this method to the rest of the vehicle. The process is time-intensive, as every single tile on Starship must be individually wrapped and installed. With over 18,000 tiles on the ship, this represents a significant investment of labor and engineering precision. However, the benefits outweigh the effort. By systematically eliminating gaps and protecting the metallic surface, SpaceX moves closer to achieving a heat shield that can withstand multiple re-entries without major maintenance. This is a critical step toward the company's long-term goal of building a fully reusable vehicle, capable of regular flights to orbit and beyond. The wrapping material offers clear advantages over traditional adhesives, which can degrade under repeated heating and require precise curing. By using mechanical compression to seal gaps, the system is more reliable and less sensitive to temperature variations, reducing the risk of failure during re-entry and potentially shortening maintenance between flights. Beyond blocking oxidation, the upgrade improves thermal management by tightening the fit between tiles and the steel body, allowing engineers to better predict heat flow and stress during flight. Bill Gersten Meyer emphasized that testing metallic tiles now provides critical data on how they handle repeated stress, insights that will guide future orbital Starship upgrades and help extend the life of both tiles and the underlying structure. Flight 11 is set to focus primarily on testing Starship's upgraded heat shield, with standard re-entry and landing sequences serving as the backdrop for a more critical evaluation. The effectiveness of the new wrapping material and automated tile installation process. Engineers will closely examine the recovered ship for discoloration, gaps, or other signs of failure, gathering data that will determine how soon Starship can achieve frequent reuse without extensive refurbishment. The wrapping system not only addresses oxidation and gap issues, but also standardizes tile installation, ensuring uniformity across all 18,000 tiles. This consistency is essential for both performance and reliability, especially as Starship scales up to orbital missions where re-entry stresses are far greater than suborbital flights. Early tests on the nose cone of Ship 37 already demonstrated promising results, showing no visible streaks or discoloration, and suggesting the approach could finally solve long-standing weaknesses in the metallic tile design. The stakes for Flight 11 are significant, Musk has repeatedly highlighted the heat shield as one of the last major hurdles to making Starship fully reusable, 
a milestone critical not just for operational rockets but for humanity's broader goal of interplanetary travel, success would confirm that metallic tiles, when properly wrapped and installed, can withstand repeated re-entries with minimal maintenance, combining oxidation protection, gap elimination, improved thermal management, and standardized installation into a single, scalable solution. This flight represents more than incremental progress. It is a test of whether SpaceX can move Starship from an experimental prototype to a practical, reusable vehicle. If successful, the combination of the wrapping material, automated installation, and lessons from previous missions could mark one of the most important breakthroughs in heat shield technology and modern rocketry, paving the way toward fully reusable rockets capable of frequent flights to orbit and beyond.